for staying with us. A community vigil for victims of the Conception Boat Fire will begin shortly at Chase Palm Park in Santa Barbara. Expected to begin any minute now. KSBY's Dustin Kleeman is live for us in Santa Barbara at that vigil. Let's send it over to him now to see how the community is remembering, remembering the lives lost. Dustin. Well, good evening, Christina. A number of people coming out here to pay their respects. Hundreds in just the last half hour attending here at Chase Palm Park. As you can see right here, a lot of people coming together to honor the victims who their lives were lost during the Labor Day. We do want to uh, let you know that we will be carrying this as a live stream both on air and online. You can definitely check out our KSBY web website. They are just about getting ready to start. Uh, we're going to have a number of speakers also talking. Uh, playing the harpist was uh, playing the harp was Lori Rasmussen. She just finished up. Again, here people are gathering. Smiles have been shared. Embraces. Uh, people knowing that they have each other's back during this tragedy. There are no strangers to having to deal with types of tragedies. But they also know how to bring people together. They're doing exactly that tonight, and we hope to bring you the very latest, both live for you, and we'll have a reaction tonight from Alex Gonzalez. Here is the vigil a little bit more for you. Santa Barbara resident, and I can say from personal knowledge, a person of incredible resilience and strength. So we welcome Jackson Jillies tonight. I also want to welcome, thank, and share with you their role, our community wellness team. You'll see the community wellness team, just some of our many members throughout the crowd tonight, they can be best identified by wearing blue vests or white vests. You'll hear a little more about this team, but this is our team from multiple organizations. They're here to provide mental health and spiritual support. They're here throughout the crowd, and they are here for you tonight. So thank you, Community Wellness Team, for everything you do and everything you've done this last week. I also want to thank the Salvation Army. So we had a family assistance center that was set up earlier this week. It was an amazing place to be. But the Salvation Army, I'm not even quite sure how they got there, but I'm really glad they did. The Salvation Army showed up. They put together a canteen filled with snacks and beverage and food for all of our families who came. They're here tonight. They provided for the families lunch and dinner, and they have just been amazing. So thank you so much to the Salvation Army. And thank you to Jackson for helping me with the right height here. So as we're getting settled, I want to officially start us with our vigil this evening. As we, can, we, as we begin the program, I want to acknowledge that we are at the end day of a very, very long, painful, and really hard week. We've shared the week together as a community, as our families, so many that have joined us from outside of Santa Barbara, and all the tremendous support that has been present from our first responders, second responders, third responders, really from the whole community. I want to recognize how difficult tonight is for everyone that is here with us, but especially for our families who have lost loved ones on the conception. I admire you deeply, and I thank you for having the courage to join tonight in this vigil. Thank you. And lastly, I want to give a tremendous thanks to the City of Santa Barbara, the County of Santa Barbara, and the Community Wellness Team for the collective organization of tonight's vigil. Thank you so much. I wasn't sure if everyone was behind me. I see that they are. I would now like to introduce Rabbi Daniel Brenner. 
Rabbi Brenner is with Congregation B'nai B'rith, and he is a chaplain with the Santa Barbara City Police Department. And he will begin our evening with the sounding of the shofar. Before I blow this evening, I just want to offer a couple of words about what this is, what its sound represents, why we do this. I was asked to blow shofar this evening. The shofar is a religious ritual object of the Jewish faith. It's ancient. It's at least 3,000 years old. And it represents for Jews around the world, particularly at this time of year as we enter our holiest of seasons, it represents a wake-up call. It is a sound that goes straight to our souls. It is a sound that is not any particular tonality. No two shofars sound alike. It is the voice of emotions that cannot be expressed in words. Emotions of grief, love, hope, and pain. As I play this instrument, I invite you to open your hearts to the pain, to the love that you all have felt over this last week. And to then take a moment of silence afterwards. Just be with those feelings. And I do hear the train passing by behind us. Kind of symbolic of life. If only we could pick and choose our moments of silence without interruption. But we all know that's not always possible. I would now like to introduce a very special guest. Don Barthelmus. Don is a longtime local diver and NAUI instructor trainer. He is Professor Emeritus at Santa Barbara City College, where he trained recreational and commercial divers for over 30 years in the Marine Technology Program. Don is currently President of the Board of Directors of the Santa Barbara Maritime Museum in our local harbor and a past president of the Historical Diving Society. He has been a co-organizer of a variety of diving workshops and events over the years for our diving community. Don and his family are longtime Mesa residents. Don, welcome. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. There are many reasons each of us have to gather here this evening to listen and understand, to grieve and to comfort, to remember and reflect. Thank you all for being here. Sadly, our community has faced too many tragedies of recent Tonight, once again, we gather to pull together and support each other. 
While nothing in our history in our history surpasses this, we as a community are not alone. We know how to begin this long and difficult process. It begins with loving each other, empathizing the pain and loss we have suffered at every level. We've witnessed all of this this week. Reach out, hug each other, listen and understand the raw emotions we all feel. All of us as a diving community are bound together in our common love for the ocean. We are a tight-knit community and we love and support each other just like our ocean world. The diving community in Santa Barbara has no borders. We're all blessed and proud to be part of it. As divers, we share unique experiences. Sliding into that cold, damp wetsuit at six o'clock in the morning from yesterday's dive. The peace and silence of the underwater world. The swaying of an underwater kelp forest. The sheer thrill of a giant stride entry on that first day of diving. The weightlessness experience of being underwater. Witnessing the grace and beauty of a giant manta ray that almost perfectly composed photograph of a critter underwater, almost perfectly. That eight pound lobster that you left behind, probably because you didn't have a fishing license. The dolphins surfing in the bow wake on the return trip home. That never gets old, does it? These 34 lights and scuba cylinders before you here represent our brother and sister divers who did not make it home that night. There were also our friends and our family members. Our common love for diving binds us together for eternity. The dolphins are the icon of the city of It's derived from the ancient Chumash legend of Rainbow Bridge. When you see a dolphin, remember, remember our brothers and sisters that perish in the sea. Do this as we were, were taught by our Chumash people. These lights on stage will forever shine deep within our hearts. And may they now lead us into the solace we all now seek. Thank you, Don. That was beautiful. If we go slow enough and we stay here long enough, we will start to see the light shine in front of these tanks. So if you hear us talking slowly, that might be part of the, the method here. But it is true. As darkness becomes darker, the light shines brighter. And I think that's such a strong testament to the diving community, but really to the spirits of the 34 lives that we have lost and our ability to remember them tonight. It's my sincere pleasure to introduce you to the Reverend Dr. Kate Wiebe. Kate is an amazing person. She's a friend. She's the co-chair of our community wellness team, and she will be speaking tonight about community healing.
This evening we gather not only to honor loved ones who have died, but also to acknowledge the collective hurt within our community. The loss of a beloved boat, shocking disruption to friendships that feel like family, a devastating incident that is the exact opposite of what the adventure is meant to be. The grief we feel is connected to what means so much to us and the loves and passions that we share. In this time of great grief and sorrow, though it can be very hard, be encouraged that what you may feel also is connected to what you love and to what matters most. As you may grieve, also consider allowing yourself to embrace the support around you and what nourishes you. Thankfully, we do not have to grieve without hope. And as Don said, we do not have to hurt alone. We have each other and we can make the most of that. We can gather together in these days and weeks as neighbors, neighbors, as friends, and as new acquaintances. We can fellowship, listen to one another's stories, and nourish one another. And there are many people here tonight and throughout the community who stand ready to walk alongside anyone who is grieving, who is in mourning, or just trying to make sense of the multiple painful events we've experienced in the last two years. Don't hesitate to reach out. For example, you can contact any one of the community wellness team members, many of them who are here tonight in blue and white vests, who will be happy to help, including the County Behavioral Wellness of Santa Barbara, Cottage Health, Red Cross Mental Health Services, at ease, Behavioral Services Unit of the Sheriff's Department, Santa Barbara Unified School District, Jewish Family Services, your local faith leader or spiritual director, Santa Barbara Response Network, Santa Barbara Mental Health Wellness, the Psychological Association and Marriage and Family Therapists, or if you're an organizational leader or first or second responder, the Institute for Collective Trauma and Growth. Remember, you are not alone. This is hard because it matters. And though it is not a journey that any one of us would choose, we will make it through together. I would now like to call our area elected officials and representatives of the Conception Die Boat Tragedy Incident Unified Command to bring the wreath forward. This wreath, at a later time than the vigil, will be brought to the memorial located at the end of the breakwater for those lost at sea. As an expression from our entire community and first responders.
has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see no I won't be afraid oh, I won't be afraid just as long as you stand stand by me so darling darling stand stand by me oh stand stand by me stand by me stand by me stand by me if the sky that we look upon should tumble and fall and the mountains should crumble to the sea I won't cry I won't cry No, I won't shed a just as long as you stand, you stand right here. So darling, darling, stand, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. 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 Cause darling, darling, stand by me, oh, stand by me, stand by me, stand by me, stand by me, so darling, darling, stand by me, oh, stand by me. Stand by me, stand by me, stand by me. Thank you, Jackson. The next person I would like to introduce to you is Father John Hedges. Father John is an amazing community chaplain. He's also a dear friend, and he will be the concluding speaker for our evening. But before Father John joins up on stage, you each have been given a white carnation or a white rose. White carnations symbolize what this evening is about. An expression of love and condolences. Following the closing sentiments, all are invited to remain and reflect. And when you feel ready to come forward and place your carnations in the baskets which are located at the front of the stage. These baskets, along with the wreath, will also be taken at a later time by the City of Santa Barbara to the Lost at Sea Memorial. Father John, welcome. The mouth stumbles at the words that are in the heart, yet somehow the words that are in the heart must be said that we may share them together, for they are the words of our heart. Our community is blessed to have been placed here on the rim of the sea, as if on the lip of a chalice 
and we who are of the land and the air have a mysterious bond with the sea. For in salt water we were each carried and nurtured and then burst forth on the day of our birth. And so it is that we are drawn to return to the sea when we are in need of recreation and healing. As Karen Blixen said, all things are cured by salt water. In these days, the salty tears of our eyes have mingled with the sea, as if an offering for the grief that has torn our hearts apart. And the noise of so many words does not heal this for us. But here, here in the solidarity of silent community witness, we stand again at the rim of the sea and reach together for healing grace. We acknowledge and must always acknowledge the unseen presence of those who could not be here but yet love us and would be here. And on behalf of all, we do honor the memory of those we have all lost. May the dive lights of their presence not be diminished by the darkness at twilight. And for all of us who keep their memory precious, may the frolicking of the dolphins at the surf line, the breaching of a whale, and the beauty of all the great and small critters of the deep remind us of et eternally of why we and they came here. And may we take increased devotion to cherish and pray those precious gifts that we have been given in this place. And may we gather together in that place with them. Saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. I was blind, but now I see. was grace who taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved how precious did that grace appear the I first believe 
We have been listening into a vigil in Santa Barbara at Chase Palm Park as the community comes together to honor and remember the 34 lives that were so tragically lost on Monday morning when the Conception dive boat caught fire and sunk. The recovery efforts continuing to find the final victim as well as bring that boat up from the ocean floor. You saw at that vigil tonight the community coming together. Such an emotional time and unfortunately a familiar feeling for the community of Santa Barbara after the Thomas fire and the mudslides and numerous other tragedies over the years. This being the latest one on Monday morning, we have been covering this disaster from the very beginning with team coverage and we will continue that tonight and going forward. Our own Dustin Kleeman will bring us an update shortly from the vigil about the feeling that he experienced there tonight. We'll also have Alex Gonzalez giving us an update uh, later this evening during our 10 and 11 o'clock newscasts. So we just want to thank you all for joining us for this special edition of KSBY and, and tuning into this vigil and paying your respects as well to these victims. 34 still looking for that last victim, the sheriff's office. Uh, releasing 22 of the names so far that they have uh, positively identified using DNA evidence and contacted the family. They're continuing their work as the Coast Guard and the NTSB continue their investigations. We will have more information for you tonight on the investigation into the deadly boat fire on our newscasts at 10 and 11. You can always keep updated on our website, ksby.com and our KSBY News app. That'll conclude our live uh, broadcast of this vigil. A live look again at Chase Palm Park as people continue to share hugs and memories and support each other during this difficult time.